messy hair. Hey you guys, um, this is going to be a haul video slash try on video. Um, I am a hot mess right now. Wow. I just took off my makeup that I was wearing today that was so tragic. Honestly, I failed today, but that's okay. I still went out looking the way I did because like I always tell you guys, it's okay to mess up. It's okay not to have like this flawless amazingness stuff going on and you can be crazy looking and go out and still be confident because we're all learning. It's fine. You don't need to be perfect constantly, you guys. And I feel like in the world we live in right now, like the pressure is on to be perfect and you guys do not have to be perfect. You need to be you and yourself and take things at your own pace. So without further ado, let's just jump on into it. Okay, so first though, like these socks, that's eyeliner that you'll see later on. But can you see the little fox? Oh yeah. It's so cute and they're so soft. Like this is so soft and this is so soft. And oh, I just am in love with these socks. I bought them today and I'm like, yes. But anyways. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is I got the full version of the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Spray because I ran out of this and I legit almost died a little bit today. And I think that is partially the reason why my makeup was so crazy. Like it was just not a good makeup day for me for one. Like <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, the next thing I got is this Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion. Looks like this. I have a very bad problem with foundation settling into my skin. By which, which means like where my acne scarring is, where the, the actual deep ones, it settles into those and my like creases and stuff. And my pores, I have like large pores sometimes and everything just looks so tragic. So I'm hoping this will help a little bit. But we'll see. It may just be me and I'm gonna have to fucking die and deal with it. So, you know, it's fine. Skin, it's fine. Um, next is this Lacombe eyeliner. And the reason I bought it here is this thing. What? What? That's what the thing on my leg is. So that is the applicator. It's like a felt tip. But... That is like the coolest thing to ever happen to me in my life. Like, what? What? Next, I got a, another eyeshadow primer. Pretty sure this is the original one. I was gonna get the anti aging, but I was like, do I need it? And I probably should have. Like, um, <laughs> it's never too late to start anti aging, but this is just a little trial sized one. And yeah, that's it. Next, I got the Kat Von D setting powder, and can we talk about how cute her packaging is? Like, honestly, look at that. It's so cute. Like, so cute. This is what it looks like. This is the lid. And obviously, it's a translucent powder, so it is very, like, white black. Oh, that's cute. It's a little star. What? She, I love her stuff to be honest with you and like, I love her like despite anything that's going on drama wise with her and Jeffrey or whatnot. like I don't give a fuck she still has great products so let's just move on from that. Next I got a Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper which the last two that I got were the tattoo liner so I don't know if she just changed it to the ink liner or if the ink and tattoo liner are different but it doesn't look like it so I, I don't know. Um, the next thing I got was another foundation this is a I have no idea how to say this. You Vibes St. Saint La Saint Laurent. This is the packaging. I love the gold like iridescent whatever packaging and it says touche eclante le tiente what radiance awakening foundation ah 
says weightless, <laughs> luminosity, flawless coverage. I got B30 Almond. Um, it says the first awakening foundation by YSL, the magic of a weightless radiance and flawless coverage. The advanced foundation encapsulates the magic light of whatever to banish shadows for an exceptionally luminous complexion. Weightless radiance, the ultra light fluid feels imperceptible on skin and diffuses a continuous controlled radiance all day. Flawless coverage, the innovative translucent pigment provides an ideal coverage while allowing light to breathe through. Improved luminosity enriched with an advanced anti-fatigue complex. The formula improves skin quality for a well-rested and naturally radiant look. A what that. And this is the bottle. And it looks pretty tan. I think this is too tan. I swatched it on the back of my hand like you're supposed to. But I forget that my arm and hand are tan. And my face is not, but... I'll show you guys on the back of my hand. It doesn't look that dark when you like. Mmm, it smells really good. It smells kind of like um, fresh baby powder. Like the fresh scent of like cucumber <laughs> and then baby powder combined. But see, like it matches my skin tone, it seems. And it's like a matte finish. I don't feel like it's very like dewy, which is good for me. Like I don't need a dewy formula. I got oily skin, girl. I don't need that. And then this is the last thing. I feel like I'm forgetting something and I'm sure I'll find it later and be like, ah, oh, why? But I got the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. And can we, like, the packaging on everything I bought today is just stunning. Like, killing the game right now. And then you open up the palette. And those are the shades they're all matte except for this shade and this one. They have a slight shimmer to them and it comes with a little oh, penny brush. It's super cute, I think. But yeah, I am loving these shades here and then these shades here. Like, I'm going to be using the but Jesus out of this palette, I tell you what, like. <laughs> so with that being said, let's jump into my hair's getting long. What the hell? The trying on all the stuff that is like my most favorite thing to do. So the hair's gonna be like, good lord, what, what, <laughs> what? Okay. Anyways, <laughs> we're just gonna fucking jump on in with this lovely hairdo of mine. I'm going to take that pore uh, Urban Decay poreless primer face thing and just prime our face. Ooh, it's very like silky. Like silky and it feels like a powder the best way to describe it. That's really strange. I mean, I like it. I like the feeling a lot. But I've never felt something like this before. I just got a text message. <laughs> or not a text, but my sister tagged me in a post. I feel like it definitely diminished my pores. Am I, am I the only one seeing that? Maybe. I'm a little crazy, so, you know. <laughs> Three pumps of that on my hand. This is my Spectrum B01 brush. My little mirror right here. This 
smells so good. So, first impression, it's not super full cover. I mean, it's got coverage, so it's like a medium coverage, but it's not full coverage, but it's a really nice medium coverage. Like, if I wanted a more natural look, like a very natural look, like this would be it. The finish of it. It's amazing. Like, what? Like, I. It's like a matte finish. But not? <laughs> like, you guys, what is happening? And obviously, like, with the concealer and stuff, this is gonna be a beautiful. And it really isn't that much darker than me. I mean,. No, it's really not. It's very, like, close. The finish is, whoa, <laughs> is amazing. It is amazing. What? Oh man, I love this. I'm sold. So glad I bought this. It was like pretty expensive, so glad it did not disappoint me. <laughs> so it's really nice and it doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. Um, I'm just going to set that with my new Kat Von D powder. Even though I know that that's going to like white cast me, um, I obviously won't be doing that all the time, but. Oh shit, I should have thought about that. I'm gonna go in with my Spectrum A01 brush. I'm just gonna set that. Actually, it's really not white casting me really at all this is I am impressed you guys like yes bitch yes yes like this is what I want like this is everything I've ever needed in my life right now on my face like oh girl mm. Mm. like you guys can't see because of my light but oh this is amazing 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 um, I'm just gonna swatch these on somewhere I'm, I'm like really impressed with this foundation combination of the primer, the foundation, the powder, like <laughs> I'm really impressed, I'm really, I really am. So we're gonna go from top all the way from, <laughs> from the top row all the way down. So this is the shade Blow. Very, very sheer, almost like a highlighter. Yeah, basically a highlighter. This is the shade Nude. They're not really picking up whatsoever. I'm just going to take this brush really quick and go on my eyelid with it and see what that does. Hmm. It must just be the my finger for whatever reason I like I feel like that's weird but <laughs> okay well that's the shade commando you guys can't really see but these are gorgeous nudes like 
gorgeous. This is the shade Tempted. The shade Instinct. <laughs> Wow, this palette. This was such a good haul, you guys. What the heck? Jeez. Gorgeous. Oh, girl. Yes. Such good nude like. This is the shade Lethal. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Black Eye Alert, right? I'm excited for this like orange shade right here. This is the shade Extra Bitter. Yes. It's like a brown orange shade. <laughs> I'm gonna go out like this, you guys. Like, it's a good look for me. This is the shade Blackjack. Which is a pretty color as well. Um, this is the shade Magnetic or Magnet. Just like a gray. Sparkle tone. And this is the shade Lockout. Oh yes, this is a pretty shade. <laughs> and this is the shade Faith. These feel like a little more creamy than like the other palettes for whatever reason. Which I'm not complaining, I love that. But just in case that's not something you guys are into, um, be aware of that. And then this is the shade Pre-Game. Which is just like a yellow tone. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the finished look for this makeup tutorial, guys. Like, this is how you get a boyfriend. Boyfriend snatching 101 right here. <laughs> but. Yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I, like I said, I'm in love with the primer, this foundation, and the translucent powder. It doesn't leave a white cast on me that I can tell. I am very pale. Um, this eyeshadow palette is a great nude basics, like it states. Um, obviously not when you put, like, all whatever shades, 12, I think. Yeah, if you put all 12 on your eyes, it's not going to be like a great <laughs> basics. But I will do a tutorial using that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I love you so much. And thank you so much for watching me be psycho as always. <laughs>